What is going on, I've Warriors? So, <laughs> the man is still fat? Let's take a look at this video right here real quick. I don't have good news to share with you today. I'm actually really triggered. I made a YouTube video and I said, I'm two steps ahead. My whole life is premeditated. It's calculative. It's manipulative. My life has been a social experiment. Joke's on you. I'm actually really smart. And what was the result of that video? Millions of people believed it. Y'all have the IQs of a bag of rocks. I can literally dye my hair blue and say it's always been blue in half, y'all. We'll believe it. Yes, because I just acted gaining 250 pounds. Who in their right mind does a social experiment gaining 250 pounds for five years in a row? Y'all are so stupid. We've all been played by this evil genius. Oh my God. I literally typed up a Batman monologue and read it. I'm scared for society, actually. Don't believe everything you're told, including from me. And yet y'all believed it. That's actually scary. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so clearly this was pre-recorded, right? Because the man has clearly lost the weight, right? I think the video right before this one, he was saying that he doesn't know what to do to prove it to you guys because some people or a few people were saying that his it's AI. Um, it's not AI. He, he clearly, you could tell that he lost the weight. I think... The thing with, with, right, a lot of people will point at this video and say he's super calculated for this type of video, which it is, but I think he pre-recorded a bunch of different things. He pre-recorded, he could have recorded if the video didn't pop off and how to react to that while still being overweight. He just has everything set up from two years ago. Now, nothing, in my opinion, proves that he planned to gain weight to lose it. Nothing, nothing, you can't, there's no smoking gun that will ever make it for sure um, unless there's a video of him back in the days where he's like, I'm going to gain all this weight and I'm going to lose the weight after a certain amount of years. I don't think that that's what happened. I think... Because we would see it, right? Because he's pre record He's like a pre-recording master, right? He's he's mastered the art of pre-recording, being patient, and releasing something years later. So I think what he did do is he decided to lose the weight, and he decided to make us think that he wasn't losing weight, so that he could be polarizing and pop up uh, with with that weight loss. Now I'm seeing a lot of fitness commentary channels feeling like almost offended like uh like he's talking directly to them when he is saying like oh i tricked you or whatever because a lot of them boy a lot of them are like oh this was stupid why would you do that listen listen guys listen relax calm down calm down you guys definitely 100% made content off of him being overweight and you feel foolish because while you were doing that, he was losing weight. While you were saying he's an idiot, he's this and that, he was losing weight. So you feel a little bit foolish. So because you kind of feel a little embarrassed, you, 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 you're kind of lashing out on, on Nick Akato Avocado. But here's the thing. If, in fact... He just gained the weight because he was doing constant mukbangs and he was going crazy with it and he did not plan to gain that weight. Him losing all of the weight is still an astronomical feat or a very strong feat and a powerful feat for others who feel that they didn't uh like they can't lose the weight it's impossible he's shown that you know he could do it and it motivates other people it inspires other people to do it so sure if he gained the weight on purpose to then lose it okay but you got to pick one right you you got to pick one you can't say oh you're just super unhealthy because you gained the weight and then at the same in the same breath be like you ain't really planned this you think you you expect us to think that you planned this you got to pick one either he ain't planned it from the beginning 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 or he gained the weight 
unintentionally, didn't want to, leaned into it because he was getting a lot of views and then decided to make a change. And if this is the case, which I, I'm almost like 90% that this is what happened over that he planned it from the start to gain the weight and do all this stuff. I think he gained weight unintentionally, saw that it was a big uh, sticking point for his channel where people were constantly talking about him, used it to gain notoriety, and then decided to lose the weight, right? Then decided to finally lose the weight. And if that's the case, I mean, you have to give kudos to him. You have to be like, yo, good job, because he still lost the weight. But people want him to be in this bucket, right? And still say, like, they want him to be the guy that planned it from the beginning because it's unhealthy to even plan that from the beginning. And then also want him to be the guy that he ain't really that clever. He ain't really planned it from the beginning. You got to pick one, man. You, you, you got to pick one, right? You got to pick one. Was what he was doing unhealthy? Absolutely. But he made a change. It's like you don't care that he made the change and want to give him the props for the change. You just are in your feelings because you made a video maybe, uh, you know, a day or two uh, talking about how unhealthy he was or a week before he dropped the video where he lost the weight. There's also a clip. If I could find it, I will insert it here. Uh, and in that clip, he's doing the exact monologue that he did when he lost the weight. And that clip was filmed two years ago or dropped two years ago. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. Certainly the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping. To bear witness, to observe all these unwell, unbalanced, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories. So this was foreshadowing what he was going to do. At that point, he had made that decision. So I wholeheartedly believe that two years ago, he made the decision to lose weight and he never looked back and he planned content in in respects to that. And we're going to probably keep seeing more content that's going to be more like trippy, right? But this has clearly been pre-recorded um, unless it's not. Unless he's actually not lost all the weight and like, but I highly doubt it. Like the, like I highly doubt it. Like the man, like, no, that's, he's lost the weight. He, he clearly lost the weight, but, uh, we're going to have to, um, wait and see what other, <laughs> what other secret videos did he record? I'm hoping one of them is what he did. Please, what inspired you, Nikocado Avocado, to start losing the weight? That's something I definitely want to know. Um, people think that that's irrelevant, but that is something that's relevant because everybody's story is unique. And what makes somebody pull that trigger to actually go full force with the consistency to lose the weight, that's an important thing. Um, especially when somebody could relate to it. And so it could, it could trigger something in someone else's brain because the whole point of our fitness channels is not to chastise other people even though a lot of fitness channels that's what they were made for right that that's what they do on, on the regular all they do is talk about other fitness channels and try to talk down or uh, talk about other people and try to talk down to other people the true nature of you know fitness channels should be to help people lose weight not to help people point fingers at other people and laugh at them and all that stuff it's to help people lose weight whenever i challenged other youtubers it was always from a place of just looking at the facts and not ad hominem attacks which is basically all of the fitness channels that attack other channels is just ad hominem attacks calling people names and stuff like that we've never done that here we've always just oh this person is saying that you know this study proves this well we have other studies that show that that's not the case and even if we look at their study 
There are uh, holes in it. For example, the person isn't actually fasting. They're actually eating 500 calories during the fasting period. So there's so many things that we did and when we when we would challenge other YouTubers, but from a place of like a respectable uh, debate, not from a place of like, oh, you're an idiot, you're this, you're that. And I feel like a lot of the fitness content has become that, and I've always been adjacent to that. Now, if you try to battle my channel, we gonna go to battle right like I, I got the studies i have the the understanding and the hundreds of hundreds of studies that i've uh, looked at in terms of weight loss and 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 muscle building so i got that in my back pocket if you want to go toe to toe but the whole point is to bring the positivity to actually help people lose weight not just create entertainment for the sake of entertainment for just clicks it was always to help people uh lose weight and they use this man for entertainment to get clicks as opposed to just helping people uh, lose weight. And they put it under the guise of, oh, we're using this to help you lose weight. But no, they were just using him as entertainment, talking down to him and all that stuff uh, as entertainment. So anyways, like, you know, you, you can feel how you want to feel. But my point when when it's all said and done is that us as fitness channels, we should actually only be prioritizing your weight loss. If you get views from prioritizing somebody's weight loss, perfect. If you don't get views because you're trying to, if you don't get views prioritizing somebody's weight loss, but you're getting views just like creating this entertainment product where you're just like going at other people and doing ad hominem attacks, that's your prerogative. That's just something that I, I'm never willing to do. I always want to prioritize you guys actually reaching your weight loss goals. That's why we talk about studies. That's why we do all these things that a lot of other channels will deem boring. That's why we do it here. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. We are, of, of course, uh, as I mentioned, we're going to keep an eye on on Nick Akato Avocado and see what he does, but that's not going to change the fact that we are uh, going to continue doing our study-based videos, looking at studies, new studies that come out. Uh, that meta-analysis that recently came out was super powerful. I don't see anybody talking about it still uh, because it's just, it, it goes against what, you know, some people don't want intermittent fasting to be good. So they're not even going to talk about it. It's a meta-analysis, guys. Literally, the pinnacle of uh data uh in terms of uh scientific studies but you're not seeing none of them talk you see them talk about individual studies while the meta-analysis takes all of the all the different studies and put them together but you're not seeing them talk about it but anyways it is what it is we that's why we talk about it here uh until the next one guys peace out